Hello there, time for a TikTok catch up. Back in March, I shared 10 viral makeup products I'm a big fan of, many have been firm favorites for years. If you're like me and you're comfortable wasting time on YouTube and Instagram without adding TikTok as a third potential distraction, I've done the research for you. Dipping my toe in again, seeing what's been trending or particularly popular and reporting back with more products I can give you a mini review of too. If you've been shopping recently and wondering why a favorite of yours is never on the shelf, or always sold out online, yeah, it's TikTok. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. I've been working with the website platform again this year after building matildaronvideo.com using their tools, and you can find more of my TikTok beauty pics in a blog post there. Another almost full face of makeup here, brows, base, blush, highlighter, and lips. I'm sure I can find more already a fan of products to feature, so let me know if you'd be interested, and tell me if you've made any great discoveries on the app, or if you're bursting with pride slash frustration because one of your personal favorites blew up over there. You won't get far on TikTok without running into a viral Charlotte Tilbury product or two, or 10. Often it's Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've been in such a By Terry CC serum bubble for the last few years, my favorite glowy base, that I kind of forget how good this is. It's a master multitasker with four uses. Wear it alone as an illuminating base to brighten up the face. Apply it under makeup to put in some glowy groundwork. Mix it into your makeup for a boost or stripe it on as a bold, creamy highlight. Whatever you do, you'll notice a smooth, post-facial-like glow. Comes in 12 shades, I wear one fair. I haven't tried the recent dupes around, but let me know if you've found one that's a great fit. Kosas Revealer Concealer has been swirling around as part of Hailey Bieber's beauty routine. Quite a few products in common, she's a possible celebrity makeup bag candidate in future. This concealer launched in early 2020 to brighten areas you want to reveal on your skin, rather than just concealing and hiding imperfections. It's medium coverage, but still skin-like and creamy, not heavy, with brightening, soothing and hydrating ingredients like caffeine, arnica, peptides and hyaluronic acid. Initially came in 16 shades, now 28, with more inclusive deeper shades and more undertones across the range. I really enjoyed this at the time, but fell back into old concealer habits, and two and a half years on really doesn't smell good, so it's time to repurchase and rematch with one of the cooler toned additions. Telling you how I'm defying gravity with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. People are embracing big bushy brows. Very glad we're past the tweezing era of my teens. So skip your brow lamination appointment. This clear wax gives you that feathered fluffy lift at home. A lot more oomph than their clear brow gel without feeling heavy, crunchy or hardened. The only downside, you need a spoolie to apply it and it's not included. You could just use one from another brow product you own or they sell this duo. Wait, don't go straight into the pot with the spoolie though. You're meant to lift a little product and put it inside the lid, smoosh the spoolie around to pick it up, sculpt away, or use the little brush to press and flatten brow hairs in that laminated style. Two bursts of bright, cheerful, color-changing blush. TikTok went into a bit of a spin when everyone thought Kylie Jenner's makeup artist Ariel used Dior's Backstage Rosy Glow Blush in pink on her. The duo later denied ever having used it, but sales skyrocketed regardless. Stunning packaging for a start. Luckily you don't need much so the Dior print stays in shape for a while. I have coral, much more of a pop of peachy orange. Meant to be the secret to naturally rosy cheeks with similar color reviver technology to the brand's famous lip glow balms and oils. You'll find other reviews here. But that adjusts to your pH story usually ends up being a similar shade of bright light pink on everyone. What is true is that this takes a minute to reach full flush, so start applying slowly, wait before it's too much to undo. Even as a much prefer cream blushes to powder person, I love how fine and lightweight this is. Very happy to see my Italian friends Espresso making it big on TikTok. I've introduced you to a few different products in the past couple of years. The aesthetic, think Glossier if it was from Milan. They're known for their coffee infused products like bold lipsticks, great clear brow gel, but Glossy, the blush by the glass, took off online. This highlighting blush is a glossy, transparent jelly, another pH reacting product that reaches a vibrant pink with a dewy finish. The brand says to use a very tiny amount because the pink really pops and the more you use the glossier the finish so to make it less balmy really pat 
matte and tap it in to reduce shine. If you're up for it, very nice as a glossy pink shadow too for a color blocked look. You'll find my espresso discount below. Ready to glow? I came across this in my research last time. Michaela Nagera raved about the ethereal glow of Armani's Neo Nude A Highlight. Armani's Neo Nude range, foundation, liquid blush, contour, highlight is meant to be no makeup makeup almost undetectable weightless formulas. I love a cream or liquid highlight, but liquids can sometimes dry down and look dry, not dewy or natural. Not happening here, a couple of doe foot dots is gorgeous, but so soft and subtle, almost candle lit compared to a Charlotte Tilbury type of highlighter. Only two shades, Michaela loves light gold 10, but I went for pink champagne 11. Not glittery, not going to cling to texture, it sits on the skin seamlessly. Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in Pillow Talk. She's an icon. Charlotte has run a mile with the Pillow Talk range since, but this is where it all began in 2013 when she bottled the dusty rose nude she'd been mixing for her celebrity clients. The texture is soft and creamy enough to very lightly line or exaggeratedly line or completely shade in your lips. A regular in my celebrity makeup bag series, Lily Collins, Lana Condor, even Daphne Bridgerton wears it. If the original is too chalky on on deeper skin, there's Pillow Talk Medium, a warm berry pink, or Pillow Talk Intense, a warm rich brown. Very excited to now have a discount for Charlotte's website for you, so I'll leave my code below if it's your first time ordering. I recently filmed a group of comfy glosses, including Tower 28's Shine On Milky Lip Jelly. The brand apparently saw a 700% increase in sales after the shade Coconut caught on online. That one's a semi-sheer milky mauve pink, perhaps what I'll try next after Cashew, a milky rose brown that's like a tasty caramel. Not too pink, not too brown. This formula is so light and thin, we could almost talk about it at lip oil level rather than lumping it in with traditional thicker gloss textures. Very smooth, slippy, silky, lots of shine, no stickiness. I'm sure some of you've tried this, so let me know your favorite shades. There you go, another TikTok catch up to save you time because there's so much beauty content happening there to get your head around, I can't keep up. You'll find a summary of my last viral makeup roundup in a blog post on matildaonvideo.com. Squarespace keeps it simple if you're wanting to work on your own blog, website or online store. No time spent coding to get up and running, you just pick a template, lots of lovely options or you can tailor one to suit your style. Then editing and creating content is quick and easy with buttons and boxes to rearrange. Squarespace offer a free trial, but when you're ready to launch, you can head to squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Now, if I were to take the plunge and join TikTok, very much on the fence for years, but I'm happy to hear your thoughts. What sort of snappy content would you want to see me sharing over there? Speedy product reviews, more texture and close-up shots, maybe extra celebrity makeup bag style information. Just interested to hear how many of you use the app or if YouTube's still your happy place for beauty content. I love it here, so don't worry, not going anywhere. Thanks for watching. See you next time.